And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Benfica against Paris Saint-Germain. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its supporters. These are the games that they dream of. No doubt in there, the underdogs. But if they can frustrate their opponents, stay in the game up until half-time, you just never know. Hopefully we get a great cup tie and maybe even a massive surprise. It could be just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Well, you get the feeling so many in attendance here have come just to see this man, Kylian Mbappe. Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. It's a splendid run by Mbappe. Well, choosing to chip and it wasn't so very far away well it was good vision excellent technique but not quite the end result it deserved well, fine work from Paris Saint-Germain to win the ball back Neymar and here's Wijnaldum, Mbappe, and the keeper tied in to thwart him. The delivery from Neymar, and did his job defensively. Messi, making sure it didn't get past him. Really good challenge. Julian Weigel. Diogo Gonzalez. Not showing good patience. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Retaining possession proving difficult. Rafa. Joao Mario. Weigel. Unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. And he saw the situation developing. Direct ball into the box. Not away completely. Hakimi. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Darwin Nunez. This looks interesting. And a really good diving stop. Who can he pick out? On well, a time for composure on the ball. Applying vigorous pressure. Fine run from Mbappe. Squanders the chance for 1 0. Well, that's a big miss. They should be leading now. Julian Weigel. Nunez. Can they create something from here? Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Rafa. Unable to get a body in the way.
possession lost, intercepted. It comes to absolutely nothing. Rafa. Rafa. And space for the cross. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. And the short option preferred. Making sure nothing untoward happened. It needs an accurate cross. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. He's given it straight to the opposition. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Gay. And here's Vinaldum. And how about that for a save? And so it is. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Idrissa Gay. Excellent defending. Rafa. Well, that's the kind of play you want from your defender. And that's an important intervention. Mbappe. Oh, he's gone for goal! Well, the keeper kept it out with a minimum of fuss, but it wasn't a great effort. Well, no let-up, plenty of pressure. Vertonghen. Grimaldo. And slipped through beautifully. Oh, a lovely ball. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. So PSG restart the game. Can they come up with the right answer? He made it look simple, really. Rafa. Might be able to set up the chance. Well, able to close down the shot. And breaking at pace with Menace. And it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Substitution it is for PSG. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? Oh, horrible injury to his shoulder there. Landed right on top of it. Saw, but he's tough, and I think he'll carry on. Cheers, Jeff. Can he convert? Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. A lovely first touch. That wasn't easy. And fed forwards. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. Wijnaldum unable to keep it. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And a chance to level it. Well, flinging himself at it. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. So the corner played into the box. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. How are they losing this one? They've done really well in terms of their approach play, yet their finishing just hasn't been good enough. Just look at those stats.
think you've got to conclude that was good refereeing. A free kick in the end after initially playing advantage, but it just wasn't there. Substitution it is for PSG. Grimaldo. And this is Weigel. And he takes on the shot. Determined block. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Mbappe. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Well, no card, but the referee clearly indicating that he's on his last warning. Far from a good pass. Just 15 minutes remaining. Inside he goes. Good tackle. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Messi. And Messi in full control of the ball here. Well, it's the late show. And they are level again. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Progressive football from Paris Saint-Germain. They know a goal at this late stage might be decisive. Grimaldo. And with it, Joao Mario. Head over towards the back post. Couldn't put it away. Offside, however. Well, he'll certainly be pleased to see the flag go up there because that was a poor miss. Icardi, Neymar, as clean as a whistle that challenge. Grimaldo, <laughs> teammates in the middle, and the danger still on. Danger averted for now. Still pushing for what could be a winner. Right into the box. They cannot be separated here, and it's... Well, the ball rolling again here, the first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Joao Mario. It comes to nothing in the end. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Real chance. Well, to think he only had the keeper to beat. Couldn't take the opportunity. 
Roman Yaremchuk. It's with Mete. Can they create something from here? Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Marquinhos with the block. A chance now with the corner. Not the best clearance. Well, it can be a bit of a hit or a miss when you try to catch the ball in that manner. Well, it's a difficult skill, and on this occasion, he can't quite pull it off. Just didn't hit it cleanly enough. Really good interception. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. So a throw in here. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Given away by Benfica. And we will have just one additional minute. It's a high-level tackle. Brilliant. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Half-time in... X well, the drama continues to unfold. Second period of extra time now. Verratti. Here's Mbappe. Oh, breezing past him. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good sight. Might it be Mbappe? Pivotal moment defensively. Well, he knew what he was doing defensively with the concession of that throw-in. Mbappe. Well, just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. Well, they have it again. Crossing opportunity. Well, I think he's going to be a bit cross with himself. Well, that should have been the winner, but he's got it all wrong. That's an easy save for the keeper. And out of play for a Paris Saint-Germain throw-in. Level pegging, but can they change that? Mbappe. Mauro Icardi here. Well, nothing productive, really. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And he's made headway. It has to be, surely. A goal! He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and the movement is so good that they end up with a 2v1 against the goalkeeper, who was completely exposed. Great play, but poor defending. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. It's a weighted pass. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then he almost mishits this, to be honest. You just wonder if that deceived the keeper and caught him off guard. Either way, they all count the same. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. It's a splendid run.